connected to a hip hop specialist being registrant. It only takes a second to see your benefit like a settlement. I'm talking about fifth element. Supreme tide of perfectionist. Crash on your Vegas nerve. Buffet, I'm about to serve. Fresh out of canapes, I'm on the hors d'oeuvres with a hunger indescribable to put in that space. The host with the most. OT from the D. Creator of the Zulu Music DJ Seven, young got discretion. Cool, go hard in the paint like resin. Uh -huh. Ray Sun checking with the scoop for your teacup. How do we know that? I swear you know some higher ups. DJ Slim is the linchpin to the crew. Locked in, turned up like an Allen school. Together we the squad, 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 squad. Salute our supporters like Captain Picard. Congratulations in advance, confetti. Toothpick, cake, clean, we fresh out and red. Fifth element. Yo, 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 what up, doe? It's your boy OT from the D. And y'all know what it is, man. Y'all back for another uh, episode of the Fifth Element Hip Hop. You know what I mean? Where it's about to get crazy up in here today. It's election week. And we got some special guests in here that's coming in today. If y'all ain't seen the post already, y'all know it's about to go down. But before we get into that, let me tell y'all what we about. We about peace, love, unity, and having fun. And let me introduce my co-host, my guy, Raymond. What up, though? Hey, what it do, man? New week. No smut on our names. Last time that I checked. A lot going on in hip hop. Yes, sir. You know I'm ready to talk about it. Let's get to it. I mean, I mean, sitting next to Raymo is the lovely Supreme Kai Senpai. What's good, hip hop? Supreme Kai Senpai. One part of the squad, 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 squad. Let's get the girl in there on. Yeah, yeah. And sitting next to her is my guy, the incredible DJ Slim. Yo, DJ's favorite DJ. What up, though? Peace, peace, peace on this culture day. Culture Freedom Day. What's good? What's good, y'all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and, and in the back, you know what I mean? Last but not least, y'all know who it is. The guy, the man himself, the legend, Hollywood Bug. What's up, y'all? Yeah, back yeah. Big shout out. Back with big, another big. one. Come on. Yeah, yep. yeah. Big shout out to uh, Sev, man. He handling some responsibilities Sev. right you know now. Love you, Sev. Sev. Y'all know Sev. Sev, Sev is, is, is handling business as always. Word. Over here spinning for the for the skating rink. Word you know what I'm saying? We miss your face, Seven. Straight up. But uh, now that we got all the introductions out the way, <laughs> Raymo, what's up, man? Hey, it's your birthday, man. It's your birthday week. It's, it's your, your birthday, birthday week. week. Let's, let's birthday. go, man. It's OT from the D. You know what I mean? Birthday week. Right. Birthday week to me. Here you know we what I'm saying? So it's only yeah. right. Why did we... I not have the bell today? What's wrong with me? Yeah, you ain't <laughs> had that. You ain't had that motherfucker in a long time. You don't need the bell. You know what I'm saying? Have it. Like, what's like, going yo, on? My name already ringing bells. Somebody gotta remind me. Hey, well, look. What's up, T Butler? What we gonna do? We gonna sip on something for your for your birthday, man. Yes, sir. And we didn't get nothing. We didn't get no Hennessy or all this. That we got what you asked for, so we got That's a right. nice little bottle of Crown. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and crack that open. I like, do the you know honors. what I'm saying? I know. Hey. Tap, tap the top. For the discriminate, you got to tap the bottom. <laughs> oh. Tap the bottom. Tap, tap the bottom. The bottom. The bottom. Tap. So it's a gap. Okay, right. it's a girl. Right. It's a girl. It's a girl. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know nothing about it. I mean, neither. Yeah, what the hell is that? Okay, so <laughs> it's, a, it's a custom. It's a custom, right. right? So you tap the bottom of the bottle. The homies right. tap the top. Right, that's fine. But what you do is you tap the bottom of the bottle. Okay, if there's bubbles that come up, it's a boy. If it doesn't, then it's a girl. What? Okay, okay. Hey, well, you know. Free game. All right. Free game. Oh, there's some ice down there. You want some ice? OT love mean? the ladies, so it had to be a girl. There you go. <laughs> ladies love. Ladies love OT. You feel me? Oh, cool OT. Yo, yo, ass. here we go. Here we go. We got some ice in the building. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. You totally. got to bust that motherfucker on the floor so, so it can. No, no, it's great. It's, 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 it's already shaking. Happy born day, though. How you feel, yeah, man? Man, you, man, feel, you know, man? I feel like I a G feel right now. Right right 56, y'all. 56 yeah. years old, man. <laughs> years you look old. good. Fresh 56. Hey, hey, if I was 56, boy, I'm like, boy, I'm looking better than some of y'all 30 year olds. That's a fact. 56 is the new 46. You know what I mean? Don't believe it. I ain't 56. You know what I mean? You're right. That's for real. Man, just rip a hole in the bag. Damn, damn. No, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm trying home, to be man. fancy and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's, like, on, he's on camera. He got it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm being fancy. Wild you know and mean? crazy. I'm trying to not, to not to rip the hole in the bag so, you know, the ice don't be going had This, this is live TV, y'all, just so y'all know. Exactly, exactly, exactly. It's happening right now. There it is right there. We We up. We up. We got some people on the live, man. Big shout out to DJ Spoo. Big shout out to Two Tone. Yes, sir. Hey. Two -tone. Tone, what up, though? Yo, here y'all go. Y'all Y'all want to get y'all y'all cups in. Here. Okay. Share the live. Share the live. This is what we're going to do here. I'm going to fill up a cup Twining of ice. In the building, and y'all can... TJ. Y'all can empty the cup of ice into your own individual cups, okay? There y'all go, man. You see? 
That's, a, that's all, all I'm right drinking there. today, y'all. Yeah, that's all I'm drinking. What's your cup on? I, I don't even I don't drink, know. y'all. I think you're getting nice with it. Okay, yeah, hold on. I don't even drink, y'all, but but this is what I'm drinking today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Before we get started. Word. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Boog, you want some of this? Some Boy, of this crown, man? No young Boog. Put some hair on your chest. <laughs> Come put some hair on your face. chest, young Boog. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, boy, hair on your chest, boy, you could be looking like a, a caveman. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, drinking this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Shout can out to you, my guy, can Johnny you Banks. Sam, that the thing? Yeah, uh, there you go. KJLA. Hey, pass me that Coca Cola though. I ain't drinking this shit straight. You dude. already you know. know. What I'm Y'all tune in, man. We on the Fifth Element. See, on I never, YouTube. I never drunk, I never drunk this stuff YouTube. with, with we live uh, right mix. Now. Look at this. We really pulling up on this oh. bitch. Ooh. That's Crown Royal, hit us up with pour that sponsorship. Queen, pour me some, All right, I'm gonna pour you a shot. Y'all, uh, back in the day, I used to be a cocktail waitress, so I know. You know, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, you are. All right. You got about a shot and a half in there for you. Anybody want some cold? Of course I do. I'm a lady. So what we got? So 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 we celebrating. Actually, we we've been doing this for a year, a little over a year now. Over a year now, you know. You know what I'm saying? OT got everybody. You know, called everybody up and rounded up the gang in order for us to do this, and 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 you know, put the Thundercat symbol out in the air. You know what I'm saying? Now we good. And they and they PA baby, perfect attendance. You feel me? They all showed up on time. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? So look at us now. Fifty two in a row, y'all. Plus fifty two in a row. Plus man, we've been up. You know what I'm saying? And we ain't stopping. So what's the toast to? She, man. Good health, wealth. Uh, you know what I mean? Long life and, and health. And wealth, you know what I mean? Fifth you know element hip hop. Fifth hey, element hip hop. Let's go. Hey, bang, bang, bang. Quan, Quan in the building. Quan peace, in peace, the building. Peace, peace. peace. Hey. Word. hey, Bug, Bug, go get the gate uh, with one of our guests is here. All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. Now that we got Smooth that out of the way. refreshing. All right. All right. So, what's in the news, Raymond? First of all, we went to Bump It or Dump It Live last mm. night. How was that? I'm sorry I had to miss that. Shout out Skinny and Tizzle. What's up, y'all? And, and, and Do Wrong. Do and wrong. Do Wrong, of course. And it seems like we shout them out, shout them out every week. We well, got to. But we have to we because have they to. putting on for the city in the right way. And you know, they are right Vegas hip hop. So putting on for hip hop in the wrong. right way. I'm like, it man. makes perfect sense. So we went and we heard new music. From Dizzy Live. Dizzy Live. Going crazy. Up. And Hell Gang got so much Perrier. new music. Perrier went Perrier. off. Yeah, Perrier went Live crazy. I was watching when Perrier walked in. They yeah. was like, Perrier in the building. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Live performances. Perrier went crazy. It was just a it was just a, all the way around good. Right. You know we, what I mean? We heard like, new music from East God Selly and Two Cs. Two Cs. East um, God. Uh, who else was up? Uh, uh, went up? It was East God, Two Cs. Um on that hell gang, it was East FL Nino, Nino, FL Nino and the Goddess and the Goddess. Woo, yeah, crazy! They was, was all on the same song. Yeah, the no, FL, it's two different songs. FL, okay. FL Nino and Goddess was on the song. Yeah, and Goddess, man, when I say her verse was crazy, she Ridiculous. goes crazy. Like, I gotta like, get like, FL Nino goddess, went off too, she but blacks out. Yeah. I'm like the way Goddess started that thing off. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, she gets was, in that bag. That I'm a God fearer man. That's my that's my song right. from FL. Yeah, that's my shit right there. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the thing Shout about that is that he had um, probably the most people in his live last night, and it right. was and it was a decent turnout for for who was there. Right, but the right, thing right. is, if y'all um, supporting Vegas hip hop, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, pull up to these events. Yep, you know what I mean, because we doing it for y'all. You Absolutely, know what I'm saying? we doing it for the city. Absolutely, Absolutely. True that. Um, support, support, support. What else we got going? We got some other stuff going real quick, but. Drake and Twenty One Savage album Ooh. is out, right? Twenty One. Have y'all have y'all listened to it? I was yeah. listening little to bit, it, little bit, little bit, little right. something. I haven't gotten little through the something, whole something. thing. It's called the album is called Her Loss. You guys seen the yeah. the um, cover yeah. of it? Who yeah, is yeah. that? It's right. the, uh, uh, hot Cheeto girl, right? It's, it's, it's the the woman <laughs> on the cover is Suki Suki Baby. She's an adult dancer in Houston, Texas. Oh, okay. But she also has her own nail business. She's Japanese and black. And the photo is around three years old. Little Yachty is the person that found the image and chose the cover. Oh, okay. but like, but that that's it. They just Bud called her yeah. a hot Cheeto girl. Why is that? <laughs> you know her personally. Like, no. She just looks like she, she eat like hot, <laughs> hot Cheetos and she <laughs> looks like like the loud girl or something. Like the loud girl, the right? Girl, the loud, loud girl, loud girl. Always eating hot Cheetos and starting some yeah. shit. <laughs> Sixteen songs on the album, y'all. Any, anything stand out to y'all? Uh, it was the what was the joint that stood out? I, I'm like it was one of my favorites. On not that. yet, not not yet for me because I haven't really got like a chance the, to tune the, into it right. and really vibe to it. You the heard? middle of the ocean and what was the other one? Uh, Circle Loco. 
Mm-hmm. The, those were two songs that and I like the the one during uh, Pussy and Millions too. That was crazy. I okay. like Circle Loco too. Yeah, I those, think that's my favorite one that I've heard on there so that's far. That's the one where he was that's going up on. Huh? That's the standout one for me so that, far. That was but the again, one where him, heard them all. him and Savage was going off. Middle of the Ocean was the one he was just going off on. Drake oh, yeah. was going off so on. Like yeah. five that was crazy. That one okay. was. Nuts. Yeah. All right, look, I want to go back. Just I want to take it back to Vegas real quick. Right. Juan, you got something? Can you pull something up? We got in the a clip. Oh, uh, and shout out to Sean Bennett and Overlook Heroes because he's starting to be man, a weekly. Look. He got a weekly spot on here Overlook now. Overlook Heroes right. been going Ooh, up. Crazy. Y'all. Right. Gang talk. The GOAT. It's oh, one yeah. of the GOATs. We got Taylor Louise on here. Taylor Louise. Taylor Louise. Going crazy, right? Money on my dick. If y'all watching, y'all don't know about Taylor Louise. Tune in. Walk inside this bitch like I'm Knuckles Dreads Red. Shorty keep on bragging about her knees like she made. Michael Jackson, Pepsi, I just burn up for the heat. But he said, "City on my back, I still feel it in my legs." I was right. like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, he going up. Man, if y'all don't know about Taylor Weez, y'all have to learn about him. One of the Absolutely. hottest artists in the city. Absolutely. Got it right. If you love hip hop, if you love hip hop, go get Taylor Weez. Go yeah. tune in. You got it. And he's all over fun. everybody's projects in the city, right? He is. You yes, ain't sir. got a Taylor Weez hook or verse, a feature, or something. Feature. He just mm-hmm. pulled up in the he's Rosie. No reputable. Reputable. <laughs> he's reputable. All right, yeah. so I'm getting into some of this news real quick. I'm gonna make it fast because I know we got some guests in the building. Yes, sir. Um, no congra- doubt. Congratulations are in order to a DJ. Jay Spinderella and Salt and Pepper. Okay. They got yeah. their star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yes, All sir. Right. 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 Well right. deserved. Right. Well deserved. Right. Spinderella is fifth element hip hop family because the homie LeJohn is her manager. Yes, sir. Yes. So we can see if we can put that in motion one of these weeks. You know oh my mean? gosh. Shout out to Spin. Right. My idols. All right. Uh, singer and actress Lena Horne becomes the first black woman to have a Broadway theater named after her honor. Nice. The Brooks Atkinson Salute. Theater was renamed after Miss Horn. Google Lynn Horn if you don't know about her. For you know real, though. She uh, was the first African-American to um, to sign a contract with a major studio. She was also a civil rights activist. Miss Horn's granddaughter, Jenny Lamette, was in attendance, and she said the renaming of the theater is a celebration of the contributions of black women to theater history. Okay, okay, okay. Right? That's lovely. Nice. And then um, big things for for Diddy, Brother Love, Puff, he's officially moving into the cannabis game. He made a $185 million purchase. i seen that. So he's purchasing the cannabis operations of Cresco Labs Incorporated, um, valued at $1 billion, and Columbia Care and Company, valued at $500 million. These are two of the biggest cannabis companies in the country. They buy uh, the buy-in, which includes 110 million cash payment and 45 million in debt financing. It will give him nine retail stores <laughs> and three crazy. production facilities in New York, Massachusetts, and Illinois. Hey, how oh you pull gosh. up? Hey, how you pull up with 100, 100, uh, 115, 10 million in cash? How, how that look? What that look crazy. like? Don't. Hey, but look, boy, what I do want to say though, wire transfer, that what, I, what, I, what I do want to say real that. quick, real quick, is very ironic, or is it ironic that? All of these dispensaries and all these people putting this money in the dispensaries and the weed, right? At the same time, we're fighting just to use herbs to heal ourselves. Mm. That ain't. Mm. And, and, because, and, because, and, big pharma, and big pharma, baby. On top of that, they'd rather you get high than heal. There's still people <laughs> that's in jail right now exactly. yeah, behind man. weed charges. It's, it's right. a lot of that things going on. That is the craziest on. thing Look, about it. Like you need I said, those herbs to heal, man. They'd, they'd rather right. you get high than heal. Shout you out right. that's right. a fact. And, 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 and the, like the, the highest part of the heal, right? That comes together with the cannabis. With the, with you know, they can right. they can come together if right. you're using it that way. Yes. But the fact that they're gonna say, "Nah, go ahead and get high," but if you're trying to get well, we are gonna make that a drug, and it's, eventually we don't want you to even have that. That's crazy, mm. right? Okay, 2023. Speaking of uh, big money situations, Jay Z may partner with Jeff Bezos. They're looking into buying the Washington Commanders, which was the Redskins. Oh, nice, right? Mm. Dang. Oh. Big yeah. money games. Big money games. And oh then since goodness. we talking about sports real quick, let's jump into this Kyrie Irving. Uh, he, the Brooklyn Nets suspend Kyrie Irving without pay for anti-Semitic social media posts. What he posted was the movie and book Hebrews to Negroes. Uh, the Nets announced Thursday that Kyrie has been suspended for at least five games without pay 
He is currently unfit to be associated with the organization. Wow. So, right? So I'm like, that's crazy to me because they act like Kyrie had a hand in making the movie. Right. Or like, Kyrie right. just posted right. the movie. Right. So I'm like, yo, if I post the movie or post something, like a, 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 a like say yes. I post Roots, yes. and that depicts uh, yes. the the, sleep, the the treatment of, of black people and slaves in the country, I'm like, yo, I'm supposed to get... <laughs> it, it, find it, for that it, it, I'm like yo it's just a movie it's, and that's just the thing that about the social media era is that the things that you share and like are supposed to represent how you actually feel you know right. so by me liking you know this that's saying that I agree with it and that I I'm on that side um, whether or not that's actually true I mean I don't know to a greater or lesser extent maybe but I mean does he deserve to you know, get Hell his nah. job taken who, who away. Has saw, who has seen I the movie? I don't know. Have you seen the I movie? I haven't even seen the movie. I haven't, so I, I can't no, say right. whether or not. I saw, I saw, like, I saw a little bit of it. How severe that judgment is. I've seen a little bit of it. Okay. I've seen a little bit of it. And when you watch it, you'll definitely be surprised. Mm. So a description for the film states that it, it uncovers the true identity of the children of Israel. And the book reads, since the European and Arab slave traders stepped foot into Africa, blacks have been told lies about their heritage so hey, but look, we already know that so it's, <laughs> now now you got me wanting to see it yeah because now that you then, then, then did all this with Kyrie, i'm like okay now i'm about to go Let home go and check it out it's i'm about to like run up the numbers i'm literally about to run up the numbers now i'm like yo if y'all was trying to make us not see it y'all just intrigued me exactly right. <laughs> this curiosity that That's for real. that wasn't there before yeah so and then real quick, I'm going to finish this up with Eric Holder, a.k.a. Shitty Cuz. He files for a new motion asking for his oh, premeditated oh, murder conviction of Nipsey Hussle's death here. to be reduced to voluntary manslaughter. He won oh, a delay wow. of sentencing, sentencing filing that motion due to an inconsistency in the jury's verdict. Boy. <laughs> Man. Right. So you can just walk up to somebody on the street and blow them in the head and... Get all kind of breaks. Yeah, just all you no, gotta no, do is no, no. you got no. mental problems. Right? You, get the, you get the breaks. On camera. Like, you, know, you can do it on camera, on camera, and it's all good. It don't even matter if they film you no more. Yeah, you can so, steal people's it. name and likeness. Right, you can do everything. You can do all that. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm like, yo, right. nothing's safe no more. You know. Oh, and before I forget, man, rest in peace, take off. Oh, the yeah. amigos, man. Where is we all man. know. Take off, man. November first, he was murdered in Houston, Texas. Sad right? day in hip hop, man. Sad, Sad day. Sad day in hip hop. Sad crazy, crazy, like, crazy. Gun violence strikes again, man. We need to we need to change up, man. That that's getting crazy right now. Right. I'm like, if people ain't starting to see the 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 impact of the words that they have on these songs and the way that people's actions yeah, are being carried out, it's time to start making a, a real change in what you're saying and how you you know yeah, trying actions. to be perceived in in the public. You out here shooting people trying to you know be the tough guy. Right. That that probably something that could have been definitely solved with some words. You know and what I mean? the, one Nobody of the things that been, yeah. I just have to say this real quick before we move on. One of the things that disgusted me about that whole situation the most was the people that were actually recording mm -hmm. him as he was leading. Yeah, I couldn't watch that. Do you guys yeah. do, do you guys know that there's that. an actual uh, like a cognitive bias? I think it's called the uh, the bystander effect. I posted it. Nice. So when something like that shocking happens, everybody freezes. And everybody expects somebody else to, to do, do something. Right. But I'm and like, nobody if, actually does but it. But if you're doing something like filming, that means you're conscious of what's going on. You ain't frozen. You're filming. That means like you conscious of what's happening right now. Cause I'm like, instead of you putting your yeah. thing away, cause I'm like, you can act, you can be, you can be active. Being active is like, okay, I'm filming. Now I'm, I'm doing something. I'm watching it through the, through the camera. Mm -hmm. That's not, you're not a bystander at this point. You actively, Involving yourself in you're something, but you're not choice. doing nothing. Exactly, yeah, it's, it's that is like a, a choice. You're not doing nothing. Yeah, it's, you know? definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely a catch twenty two because right. you need, you do need that foot. I'm not saying the footage of actually a person laying there dying and bleeding, right? Right. But you need somebody there to to actually take film of what's going on. Take, you know what I'm saying? It's that, so much. That, it's it's that, so much right. that goes on that you don't get to see. That footage that might that might help catch the shooter. Yeah, it might help catch the shooter, but at the same time, somebody's dying. Yeah, I'm like, I, I, so I, what, I, what I, choice are you going to I mean, I'm like, I'm pretty sure film. they were filming before, right? Before right. he got shot, but I mean, even even is. then, but I'm like, yo, at the, at that point, I'm like, do you take responsibility and say, you know what? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna let this man die so I can catch the footage, or I'm gonna get I'm gonna get in and save a life. But, I, but if, to I me, can, I'm, if I I'm can't like, give you CPR, but I can film everybody that's in the room. 
I'm 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 gonna film everybody in the room. I'm not necessarily saying I'm gonna film the person. I'm gonna be on the phone with nine one one. Exactly. You know I mean? You're gonna be doing something to that get this help, to get this dude somewhere. But what about what about what about, about my joke. man that had the, um, the knee on his neck? <laughs> yeah. Your name? Somebody. George Floyd. But George Floyd. But you know see, what I'm saying? That, if that wasn't diff- filmed, you yeah. Know what and, but somebody had to film that because you, how you gonna that's interfere with exact, with the officer of the law? You can't interfere with the officer though. That's what we're talking about. Somebody. There's a difference in that film. There's a difference. You got not, law enforcement in the room. It's not necessarily the people that's filming. The fact that there are people that film for the express purpose to post it and get some oh, type well, yeah. of recognition a per, a person's from motives and that's intentions. That's what I'm. That's I mean, what I'm talking. You're gonna about. find that out in the end. I ain't gonna front. I filmed them, them broads fighting outside the club that night. Because <laughs> I was entertaining. <laughs> so, so man, you know, you're hey, hey, let's yeah, go ahead and get our first guest up to the, up to the plate today. Word, 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 word. Let's go ahead and get up. My bad world. <laughs> Who we got? What we doing? What so, we doing? Okay, so uh, today, y'all know what it is. Um, election day is uh, November 8th. This is November 4th, so we are a few days away. Uh, we decided to make the decision to bring some of the leaders in the community up to the show. And right now, first to the show, we're going to bring up uh, the man he's running for congressman of uh, of Nevada. Okay. Yes. Uh, District so, four. Yeah, District Four. So what we're going to do right now is bring him up to the to the to the uh, podium. All right, let's do let's it. Go ahead and get bring this man up right now. You know what I mean? He's been making a lot of noise in the community. If y'all don't know who he is, y'all about to know who he is now. Y'all go ahead and give it up for Congressman Horsford. How you doing today, sir? Doing awesome. Thank you very All much. Right. Well, All right. Peace, 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 like man. Okay, okay. So how you doing today? I am blessed. Thank you. I'm like, Probably man. pretty busy, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's I a pleasure imagine. to have you up here today, too. You know, I'm... This is incredible. Oh, thank you. Right. <laughs> I love this. Right. I love the space. Thank you. Yeah, thank man. You. Thank we, you. We, I watched your interview last night. Right, right, right. Great interview. Great yeah. interview. Shout out Man's World Podcast. Shout, Shout out, out Man's World Man's Podcast. World. Absolutely. Right, Big right. respect. So um, uh, right now, you know, this is a hip hop show. So we're going to ask some questions about hip hop uh-huh. and, and how we can uh, mend the relationship between, you know, the politics of, you know, America and hip hop. Uh, like our, our, our role in helping this move along so that we get some of the things that we want to happen in, in, in when a man gets elected inside of office. Right. Uh, before we get into that, and we want to ask you a question, uh, who's your favorite hip hop artist and why would they be your favorite hip hop artist? <sighs> <laughs> I, look, I love, I love Drake. Drizzy. Okay. <laughs> All right. There we go. Round the bat. There we go. <laughs> Okay. Megan, I got to give it up to Megan. Megan, okay, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> did you see her? I do see her. <laughs> Megan's right. amazing. Did you see her though. <laughs> I did see her. Megan's a force. Right, I she heart. really is. I went to that iHeart uh, festival. <laughs> she okay. did her Broad thing. It. She did her thing. LL Cool J did his thing that night too. Oh so, my gosh! So you outside One of my then. favorites. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I try to go out every once in a while. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I well, love it. What, like what was some of the rare, some of the people you had in your deck growing up? Because I know you know you grew up and you riding around the hip hop just like right. us. Hip hop is forty nine years old. <laughs> exactly. Year. You right. know what I mean? It's forty nine years old, and I'm forty nine. Oh. See, there it is. <laughs> so you grew up with the culture. You know, you grew up with the culture. Who were some of the people you had in the deck? You know, look, I just I grew up here in Vegas, and um. For me, it's just about the culture, mm-hmm. experiencing the words, mm-hmm. kind of the essence of where it comes from and mm-hmm. the meaning behind what it is they're trying to express that really I love the most. Mm. So okay. it's not about any one particular artist. It's more just like what it is they're trying to convey. Right. They have a message. Right. They want to be heard. Mm. And they have a gift. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. That means so he, he, listens to the, he listens to the gambit. You know, everybody, right. everybody's, <laughs> everybody's involved. <laughs> so, um, can you tell me, um, tell the people rather, um, like what's your, uh, elected duty and what areas does it cover? Well, first, let me just tell you about who I am. Stephen right. Horsford. Okay. I was born and raised here in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. Uh, graduated from Clark high school. Nice. Clark, nice. Okay. What year? 91. Oh man. You came out right before I got in. Right. I, 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 I came here in 92. Yep, and I too. went to Clark from 92 to, to 95. Yep. Yeah. And, then, and then it blew up. It blew. I, I went when there were only nine high schools. Now right. like yeah, 30 we were there. some yeah. high schools. You can't even keep them, keep them apart. You was, nice. at, you was at Clark before they tore down the, um, 
the soccer field, the parking lot and build oh, the soccer yeah. field right, up front. Right, right, yeah. yeah, right. That was our yeah. block growing up. Yeah, that was Cyrus, our block. Cyrus, Arville, Pinwood, yeah. all that. Desert yeah. Inn, that whole area. Nice. But, you know, I was raised by a single mom. I'm the oldest of four, and mm -hmm. uh, I've worked mm -hmm. pretty much my entire life since I was 14 to try to make things better for my siblings, my mom, myself, mm -hmm. and I never planned to run for office. This isn't mm -hmm. something I was destined to do. It's not, um, I'm not from some Ivy League right, experience, family. you know, Silver Spoon. It's just been... Um, this is the community that helped raise me. Mm -hmm. They gave me an opportunity to serve before I was ever elected to anything. I ran Nevada Partners and the Culinary Academy for 10 years where mm. we provide job training for thousands of people. And I'm, I'm a big uh, advocate for creating opportunity for nice. other people. I'm sure I've seen you at Nevada Partners because for sure. when I was in high school, that's <laughs> one of the places that got me jobs. Summer employment. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then I just passed a bill to provide year-round summer employment for uh, youth ages 16 to 24 because oh, I, I just that. believe if we want to address crime, if we want to reduce violence, if we want to help our young people, young men, particularly young black men, mm -hmm. succeed, we got to give them an opportunity. Because that's to do. some Somebody did that for me. Okay. No. I wanted to ask you, I mean, how, I mean, just to kind of give someone, you know, like, let's say my son, who's 10 years old, is watching this show, and he wants to be, uh, you know, in the political world. How, how did you even get started in that? Does someone have to, like, tap you on the shoulder? Well, first, it's great that your son is engaged in this show and watching his mama, because, you know, I'm sure he's proud. Um. The first thing I ever did, I volunteered on a campaign for somebody else. Okay. Mm. Didn't get paid. Um, it was just exposure. That then led to an internship. Mm -hmm. And then in the middle of my internship, they said, oh, you are doing pretty good. Would you like a job? Mm. And I needed a job because I needed to pay the bills. <laughs> I was a freshman in college at UNR, and um, I became what they call a... Uh, college organizer on campus and I did advanced work for one of the governors who were was running for re-election mm. that is how I got my exposure and then former state assemblyman Wendell P. Williams, Wendell Williams yeah. mm -hmm. um, provided me my first internship because when I was in college look I didn't know anything about the legislative process I didn't know how a bill became law I didn't know <laughs> you know the different roles that people had and he said, why don't you come and do an internship in the Nevada legislature? Mm -hmm. And I did it because they said I could get six credits towards graduating. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I did it. But then when I got there, I'm like, oh, this is where change happens. This right. is where if I don't like something that's happening in my community, I can have a say in changing it. Hmm. And that is ultimately what led me down the road towards being in politics. First, not as an elected official, helping other people that were running for office. Mm. Okay. Wow. Man, that's Here we are today. <laughs> <laughs> that's big. So, so like I said before, um, I know you, like I said, you, you're running for congressman, correct? Mm -hmm. So with that, what, what's, what does those duties entail? And like, what districts does it cover? Are we involved in that in North Las Vegas, just Las Vegas area? Yep. What? So, uh, I am running for re-election to Congress. I am currently mm -hmm. the congressman for Nevada's 4th District. Okay. My district covers half the state of Nevada geographically. Uh -huh. So I have everything in this new district north of Sahara. Oh, wow. So all of downtown, mm -hmm. the Arts District, um, Old Vegas. Mm -hmm. I go down to UMC and the Medical District, all of North Las Vegas. Okay. And then out to the northwest to like Centennial Hills. But then... Oh, wow. I got Pahrump, Hawthorne, Tonopah, oh, wow. <laughs> all the way up towards Urington. It's 52,000 square miles. And I say that because it reflects the diversity of the state. I'm the first African-American to ever be elected mm -hmm. uh, to represent Nevada in Congress at the federal level. Um, I served in the state Senate for eight years before I went to Congress the mm -hmm. first time. And I was the first African-American to serve as the state Senate majority leader. But it's not... It's not about the first. Right. It's more about what it is we collectively can do in these positions. Right. And for me, it's about trying right now at this moment, 
trying to create opportunity for, again, the community that helped raise me. Um, I lost my father. He was shot and killed when I was 19. Mm. Oh, wow. I was a freshman in college. I got the phone call that, um, you know, he was working in a convenience store. Someone came in to rob the store. In the course of the incident, he, my father took a bullet to the chest, and he died on the way to the hospital in the ambulance. Oh, wow. Man. Sorry, I, uh, hear that. I never had a chance to say goodbye or I love him. He never had the man. chance to see me finish school or um, right. start a family, raise three kids, and now go on to serve in Congress. But it's not just about my experience because that experience is the experience of so many other young people and constituents that I serve. Right. Uh, Sean Jerrion Coleman, who's one of my constituents, he got shot in the face um, at Cheyenne High School when he was, you know, graduating. Jeez. Um, obviously, the worst mass shooting in U.S. history at 1 October right. happened here in Las Vegas. Right. So these are things that inform what I do. You ask, what are my functions? So my job is, my job title and my job description are the same thing. I'm a representative. Right. Gotcha. I represent 700,000 people here in Nevada's 4th District who elect me every two years. Mm hmm to serve them as their voice in Washington, D.C. in Congress. Okay. Half of my job is passing laws mm -hmm. at the federal level in Congress with the Senate and the president. But a big part of my job is actually delivering constituent services every single day. So people call my office when they have issues with Social Security, Medicare, if they're a small business owner and they're trying to get a loan through the SBA, a student who's trying to get a, a grant through the Department of Education, immigration issues. Mm -hmm. These are the things that people call us and ask, hey, you're my representative. Mm -hmm. I need you to help me, whether it's on a housing issue, a health care issue, a veterans issue. And then fortunately, I have a very dedicated staff and they go to work perfect. on behalf of those constituents. Perfect, 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 nice. perfect. We need your help. <laughs> the Vegas hip hop community needs your help. That's right. Um, we have artists out here. Are you are you in tune with any of the artists, any of the Vegas hip hop artists in, it, in the city? Is the, yes. Okay. So we have artists out here that can't perform in the city. That's how they feed their family. That's how they feed their kids. Um, and they're being they're being stopped. Plain and simple. They mm -hmm. can't get out there. They can't do shows. The police are shutting the shows down. Um, Y'all want to fill in? Y'all want to help me out? Right. It's true. So it, the, the, the problem is, is that we've had, you know, people in powerful positions, you know, uh, pretty much, you know, say that they didn't want hip hop uh, on the strip or wherever the case may be. And they, they funnel that down to the law enforcement. And then they put all these heavy restrictions on us to be able to be able to, to pull off a hip hop show. How do we rectify that? Well, first, yeah, you come to the right place. Uh, and, <laughs> I didn't mean, put you on the spot too much, but yeah, I mean. No, I, and, and actually one of the guys that's running for statewide office is one of the guys who tried to close down rap right. concerts when right. he was in the Board of Regents. Now he wants to be lieutenant governor. So Which is I, crazy, and I'm like, I hope that everybody is aware of who he is and right. stops that from happening. He must be stopped. <laughs> but on... A local, state, and federal level, part of my job would be to work with all of you mm -hmm. in advocating for your interest as an independent hip-hop artist. Right. You are an interest. You are a, a, a sector that you, you're constituents. Right. So you come to me and you say, hey, we have this problem. We need your advocacy to address this issue. Um, my door is open in order to work with you on that issue. Some of this is local and state because they determine right. a lot of this, but with my office's support, we can definitely bring the right people right. into the room to have this conversation. It's about respecting what this profession is. Right. And the value you bring to our community. Look, we're right. the entertainment capital of the world. How are you going to live hip-hop right. hip 
out of right the entertainment <laughs> capital of the world. Yeah, right. exactly. you, can't, you can't sell you can't anything in it. this world without hip hop. And, and, and we're about to like time. break off like with the Formula One and with right. the, the Super Bowl and with the right. Pro Bowl. Right. Like you, you might want hip hop to be a part of right. what we're doing yeah. as we grow as a community. But unfortunately, some of these people making these decisions don't know enough about what you do, how you do it. Look at this professional studio you got. Like right. this is about excellence. Right. Right. And some of them some of them have to be educated. Mm-hmm. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hip hop lives in the city. It just doesn't live within the city doesn't pr- they'll promote out of town artists to come out here and do shows at Dre's or the Palms or wherever. But our local artists cannot get that same love. Mm-hmm. And I and I want to add on too, because it's not just local, right? Cause I cause um um uh Meek Mills. And a couple of other cats have absolutely expressed that, yo, I can't even book a show in Vegas. They won't even let me book a show in Las Vegas. They always put a stop to it. So it starts here in the community, but it's starting to swell out into the to the nation to where they're kind of blocking them from even coming here as well. Right. Well, I'm the first vice chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, and this is something that— so the Congressional Black Caucus within— the House of Representatives were 58 members, were the largest caucus of the uh, House uh, of Representatives. And we have 58 members. It's our 50th year. And we believe in representing our people. Mm-hmm. And hip hop is a big part of who we are. It's our culture. Right. Uh, you said it's 49 years. It just seems to me it's a, it, it just... Being here forever. Right, right. <laughs> I grew yeah, up with definitely. it. So, but... There's work that we can do collaboratively, and I definitely would love to uh, be your advocate to make sure that okay. your voices are heard, that we bring the right people in the room. Some of this is about miseducation. I get, I get a lot of misinformation about me right, as an elected right. official, so I can only imagine right, right. what the industry faces in hip-hop. You know, if there's one incident, they want to, like, make the whole industry yeah. The whole sector of hip hop be like, well, this is the way the entire hip hop sector is. No, you have to you have to define who I am based on who I am. That's so, right. so before before coming up here, was this actually an issue that was brought across the table? Did you guys were you guys aware that these things were happening in the city? I'm aware of it because I'm from here. I, right. You know, I'm I was born and raised here, and mm. again, I know of attempts to close down shows, deny. Mm. Uh, hip hop entertainers from performing, whether it's at the university mm-hmm. or on the strip. And look, that's to me it's it's a form of discrimination. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. It is. And, you know, we also just need to take it to the standpoint of why are they singling out hip hop? Right. So like, let's, you know, let's right. just put that <laughs> right because there's a lot of shows that go on in Vegas. You know, rock shows, uh, different types of shows, and they all get to go on without a hitch. And they probably have just as much violence at their shows, as, if not more. Right. And, and they seem to single out hip-hop, like, as but us, you know, being the most. The same like- thing happened when we had the attack on the U.S. Capitol. Mm-hmm. We had a group of people that protested years ago, mm-hmm. and the way they treated those individuals mm-hmm. compared to how they treated the insurrectionists that were attacking right. U.S. Capitol Police... Right. bludgeoning them with fl- flagpoles, causing right. the death of several Capitol Police. It was day and night. Right. Yikes. So they were, they were treated we like We saw uh, that uh, unfold. Uh, <laughs> and I think that, just to answer the question that you asked, I feel like the reason, well, one of the reasons why um, hip-hop is so singled out is because of the fact that the perception that its constituency is so alienated from the political process. Like we're alienated from the political process. When we, I think what we need to realize is that a lot more things are political than we understand. But what do you think would be a, a way to more involve the hip hop community in the political process and kind of try to mend that relationship? I I just love that you asked me this question because I don't separate. Politics is inherent in every part of our life. That's correct. It's in business. It's in the cost of living. It's in our health care. It's in how we teach our children. It's in the form of entertainment that we're exposed to, including hip hop. Mm -hmm. And so 
I don't want there to be a division between hip hop and politics. And in fact, if there were any way that we could merge and, and build, that's where the power is. That's right. You reach people I could never reach. Hmm. I see that. Right. Like that's, that's a fact. Right. And, and we, we're, we, and you know, the hip hop community is pretty standoffish when it comes to politics, voting, because we feel like our voice is never represented in the exactly. right way. You know, we're exactly. always being pushed to the side as not being someone to be taken seriously. Hmm. You know, I'm like, they don't even like you, you can tell by the treatment that we're not respected as a culture. Hmm. You know, we're not, you know, and it's more like people think that hip hop is just the music, but it's not the music. It's everything that goes with it. I'm like, we have our own style of dress, our own style of talking. Well, you know, everything that, that comes with it is is it's a culture. And they would respect anybody else's culture and them being a force that they would see to go and say, OK, these are, like you said, voters. These are people that that grew up in these communities and they can actually make change. Why wouldn't we reach out to these people? But we're not respecting it. So they kind of push us to the side, you know. Well, I respect you, mm-hmm. number one. Number two is I see what sir, some hip hop artists have done mm-hmm. around community development, giving back, Mm -hmm. supporting young people, Mm -hmm. opening up um, avenues for people to learn how to be uh, involved in this profession. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a hard business. It is. That you're in. (laughs) Right. And, you know, the more that, again, those barriers can be broken down and people can see this is what we bring to the table it's not just like you said it's not only my music it's also my passion right i want to see a change in my community i want to see development i'm the words that i'm speaking in my lyrics are actually about the shit that i see in my community that i want addressed right and the people who are elected are supposed to be accountable to Fix that, and right. you are a constituency like any other constituency. That's right. Well, but we me... have to we have to be able to have that conversation. For me to understand and learn, there are others who may not even be willing to understand. So we have to break that whole thing down. Mm-hmm. Right. There are those who may be reluctant because hey, y'all are y'all seem kind of fake in politics. Y'all, are, <laughs> they, all the parties seem the same. Mm-hmm. Where do you really stand? What are you really about? Right. So you have to break some of that down. And the more that people can understand us to who we are in our essence, mm-hmm. I think that's where the difference can be made. Well, let me let me break down some of them stereotypes right now. If y'all don't know about hip hop, right now we have Congressman Horsford <laughs> on the show. And that's I'm gonna right. let anybody else that knows that 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 may not understand hip hop is based on peace, love, unity, and having fun. That's what it's based on. I don't right. care what you've heard on the radio. I don't care what somebody may have showed you. It ain't about gun violence or anything like that or talking crazy to women. It's peace, love, unity, having fun. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, peace, love, unity, yeah. having fun. That is right. that right. is what it is about. So if y'all know about hip hop. You know what I mean? Go do your research. That's what it was based on. So, you know, th- that's why I feel like we we get a bad light because people right. take the music that's properly promoted, you know what I mean, that the popular promoted music, and they take that and run with that and say that is what hip hop is about. But there's and that's always not, been a balance. Exactly. Before there's there was a balance. There's always been a balance. Now it's... But even the they, like you said, before there was a balance, it was about bringing people together. Exactly. That weren't getting along. Exactly. In the boroughs of New York. You know right. what I'm saying? It was about the, like, stopping the gang violence. It was right. about all that because too many people were getting killed. So they started this culture under that umbrella of peace, love, unity, and having fun. Word. So that's what it was about. So I'm like, anybody watching, y'all got educated right now. So now y'all can take us seriously. <laughs> Word. Right. You know, well, before you get out of here, tell the people where they can reach you at and and uh, more about how they can get out and go vote and all of that good stuff. But hold up real quick, real yeah, quick. Yeah, go ahead. So just going back to what I was saying, mm-hmm. shows are still going to get canceled after this. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. What can we do? Who can we come talk to beforehand to, to try to stop this, to try to get shows on, to try to get some of these artists that are getting their shows canceled. Who do we need to talk to? Who do the artists need to reach out and talk to in the city to make sure their show doesn't get canceled by Metro and whoever else is shutting them down? Well, I'll make a commitment 
to just be a conduit, meaning an avenue to address it. I don't deal with local issues um, per se, Mm -hmm. but I have the relationships that I can at least bring the right people to the table. So you can always call me directly and we can um, take it from there. Sweet. That phone's going to be blowing up. (laughs) 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 Phone's going to go crazy. (laughs) So where can the people reach you at? Right. Well, look, I I really appreciate being on. And I'm here because um, you matter. Our community matters. And we have a lot of power when we we use it. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. I, I get worried sometimes because so much misinformation, disinformation is out there. We got a lot of efforts to kind of like um, suppress the vote, distract people from voting, tell people, you know, don't worry, you know, it, your vote doesn't matter. And that's a lie. Your vote matters. If it didn't matter, they wouldn't spend so much time and energy trying to suppress it and deny us the opportunity to vote. And, you know, I'm not here to tell people who to vote for, what party to vote for. I'm just saying, let's vote. Right. Use I'm Stephen voice. Horsford. I'm running for Congress. This is my community. Uh, you can go to my website at stephenhorsford.com and find out more information about me. But what I want you to know is today was the last day of early voting. You can still, if you received your mail ballot, you can drop that mail ballot in the mailbox before Tuesday night, and it will be counted. You can go to any poll on Tuesday, November 8th, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and vote. If you are not registered, you can register to vote up to and including an hour before the polls close. Wow. There it is. And if you are a previously incarcerated citizen, you can register to vote in the state of Nevada because we've restored that right. There it is. There are 70,000 eligible people who are previously incarcerated who can now vote. That's big news. And I'm telling you, some of these races are going to be decided by a few hundred votes. Yep. And especially when you're talking about, hey, we're being denied being able to play or uh, having our shows canceled or Mm -hmm. uh, being intimidated by certain groups. You can change that by voting. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to happen overnight. You know, I don't, I don't make promises that aren't real. But right. what I can say is if you don't vote, nothing will change. Right. Absolutely. And the people who continue to vote will vote based on their interest, and that doesn't include what it is you all just talked to me about. So I just encourage people to get out, vote, Tuesday, November 8th. Um, it's, it's, so my mom, who is uh, – an immigrant. She came to the United States from Trinidad when she was 12 years old. Mm-hmm. It was just her and my grandmother. They came to the States. My grandma was um, a domestic worker. She did hair. Um, she went to New York and somehow made their way to Vegas. And while my mom went to school, my, my grandmother worked. But because my grandmother got sick, she in fact had a stroke uh, nine weeks after I was born, my mom became undocumented. She overstayed her visa. Mm. Um, And for many, many years, my mom could not participate in the electoral process. She just became a U.S. citizen on September 8th. Mm. She registered to vote a week later. And this last Sunday at Pearson Community Center, she voted for the first time. That's nice. That's wonderful. That's and I share that because a lot of times we talk about, you know, who can't vote. There, there, there are a lot of Caribbean and African immigrants that are affected by a broken immigration system, just the, as there are uh, uh, Latinos and Asian, uh, Asian uh, Americans. Mm-hmm. And I'm always going to speak up for those who can't vote to remind those of us who can. Mm-hmm. We have an enormous responsibility. Absolutely. Because... We have to vote for the people who couldn't vote. Mm. We have to vote for the people who bled, were beaten, and some who even died for our right to vote. And right now, with democracy, with freedoms around women's health care choices, around the courts, around our schools, like this is a fundamental time. I was at, I was at the U.S. Capitol the day we were attacked. Mm. That was a coup attempt. Right. Jeez. They weren't successful that day. 
Mm-hmm. But we can't let them be successful the next yeah. the next time, right? Yeah, because if you do it once, you definitely do it again. Right. And and all I'm saying is, it's up to us. Yeah. We don't have to worry so much about mm-hmm. what they're doing as much as how are we getting the vote out and making sure. So much love to the hip hop community. Thank you for allowing me to be on this show. Please let me come back because I would love to just be a part of this. <laughs> what would you call love? Peace, Peace love, 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 unity, unity. Having, and fun. having fun. And that's, having fun. That's I'm for all do. those things. That's right. <laughs> right. All right. awesome things. <laughs> So please let me absolutely. come back. Absolutely. Man, absolutely. He got a little, he got a little Yeah, we, we didn't want we didn't want to from the D yeah. birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday. birthday but you you, you want you want to you want to sit? We got we got a yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, oh, you need ice going up on the, the fifth. cups are over there in the chair the right there in the chair in the, the black chair. It's like okay, hold on. Just a second. I'll be right back. I know. I ain't know we was about to go on. Right. We didn't want to be rude and you know what I'm saying? person just like anybody else. Let's go then. Well, we got some raps up here too. <laughs> Got some wraps up here too. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> here you go, man. Pour your own troubles. Uh, there you go. Hey, 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 you know what I mean? Let's get. I got in. four days to go before this election. <laughs> yeah. I might right, need a right. double. That's what's right. right, right. All right, so happy uh, birthday. Thank you. I All right, so let's you. toast. Thank you. Thank you. Toast, toast. Let's toast to. Change in the hip hop community. Right. Peace, love, unity, having fun. Peace, love, hey. unity, and having love. fun. Let's go. Unity, love, unity, peace, peace. peace. Man, everybody yeah. in the building, everybody in the live, y'all know what it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, I want to just say thank you for coming up here and just uh, blessing us with the knowledge and just giving us this opportunity to speak towards this right before the election time. I hope this uh, encourages some people to get out there and vote. Absolutely. And, yeah. and, Make and your voice be things. heard. You your know time is very Take much very much appreciated for your time. Yo, we appreciate it. Absolutely. That. Straight up. You know what I mean? Yo, you Fifth Element family now. Let's give it up for Stephen yeah. Horse. For, yeah. You know what I mean? Hey. <laughs> Yeah, Absolutely, man. yeah, yeah. You we know. need that sponsorship. What? <laughs> what? other Vegas hip-hop show is giving y'all this? Right. right. What other Vegas hip-hop show is sipping on crowd with a With Congress the congressman. Right. Right. Who, 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 who does that? that at? Who does that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I mean? Right. And, and, and we're not even done with y'all yet. You know what I mean? We got another guest that's going to be coming up right now. Um, let's see who the other guest is. He stopped in for a sec, but... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Let's see where our other guests like is. Um... Raymo, you got something else in the news for us? Yeah. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank you so you guys much for coming. You stick around we'll for the pictures. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Quan got another uh, clip. I don't know if you can bring that stick up. Stick around for the pictures. Set. Did we tell him that, Joe? Oh, can you guys stay for pictures? And we done in like we done in like a minute. We'll be done like, yeah, just a few. Is, is, uh, no. is Mr. Weekly back there anyway? Yeah, Oh, there he is. Okay, there he is. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Let's go. Don't even worry about that clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we bring it up to right now. You know what I mean? Right. Let's, let's bring Mr. up another. Uh, you got the legacy building. Right. right. You know, a, another legend in the Las right. Vegas community. You know, he's going to come up here and sit with us for a second. You now, know? I don't even know how to start. You, would you like a drink of Crown Royal? For right. The, for <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that for you and the Congress. There we okay. go. There we go. <laughs> let, let him have the brown. <laughs> you know, that so, so uh, cool. you know, let, let's go ahead Welcome and... Welcome to Fifth and, Element Hip Hop. Hey, 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 Weekly in the building. Hey, 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 Mr. Lawrence hey, hey. Weekly is in the building. Y'all give it up for Lawrence Weekly. Hey, yeah. Yeah. What's happening? You know what I'm saying? What's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let's you know, do it. On this, on this uh, uh, weekend before the election, you know, mm-hmm. we got some Most very suspicious. powerful heavy hitters in the community, and they they they, they going to tell us how to get computer, uh, hip-hop on the right track. Just a little that bit. way. <laughs> go this there you way. go. Am, am I in there? Okay, come on. All right. Yeah. All right, all right. So, all right. Mr. Weekly. Uh, yeah. uh, What's happening? Uh, shoot, just tell people a little bit about yourself. Oh, first. man. Native Nevadan, right? Mm-hmm. Um... But y'all want to know, native Nevadan and a former councilman, a former mm-hmm. county commissioner. Mm-hmm. I'm a current, uh, what do I do now? I'm a, a chief of staff as well as a chief diversity officer for the College of Southern Nevada. Wonderful. And, uh, yeah, just, you know. Chief diversity thing. officer. That, yeah. that, 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 it's a lot in that title. It chief is. Chief diversity right. officer. Hey, that's you know? a loaded title. Huh? Exactly, because <laughs> people don't know how, how much comes with that. Yeah. You know? You know, we talk about diversity today, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Right. At the end of the day, it's really all about everyone deserves a seat at the table, right? Absolutely. And everybody deserves to be treated with respect. 
Absolutely. Regardless of your race, regardless of your gender, regardless of your sexual orientation, regardless of how you move, right. you deserve that respect, especially if you've earned it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's it. Yeah. Absolutely. That makes perfect sense. So who you listening to? Who what's the hip hop that you on right now? You know what? Let me tell you right something. I, I don't have one favorite <laughs> artist. Okay. Right. I just love. I, I do love hip hop. I love a lot of it. You know, everybody knows my anthem. Is blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Let me let me let me find out you was in the ice house going up. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you know, I, I I got an opportunity to hang out with Short one evening, and I told what? him, I said, Short, look, you you do owe me some money because I've kept blow the whistle on the map. <laughs> Everywhere I go, every right. when that song comes on, people go. Weekly, your song is on. Right, you know, right. It's so going we, up. Yeah, we go up on that one. But, you know, I I, I love a lot of hip-hop music. I mm-hmm. love, um, mm-hmm. of course, artists like um, B.I.G., of course. We talked mm-hmm. about that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, and then, you know, I don't have one in particular, but I just like a good song that speaks some inspiration. Right. That really tells a story. Right. And that really, really, really um, displays the artistry and the, the talents of that particular artist. Right, right. So yeah. one, one particular thing, like we was talking earlier, you mm-hmm. know, off the camera or whatever, and you brought up a, a particular situation that I felt like mm. the people need to hear because I'm like, they don't know exactly what you act, what you do for the community. You know, people don't don't see the behind the scenes things yeah. that you've done. I'm like, of course, we've seen what you've done in front of the camera, mm. but the behind the scenes things that we were talking about, I was like, our hip hop community needs to hear this. Oh. Um, One of the things I I would say with the hip hop community is that this has to be one of the dopest genres and cultures in our lifetime. mm -hmm. But I think it's been said earlier Mm -hmm. that y'all don't understand the amount of power that you possess. Right. You don't understand coming together, the collective Mm -hmm. and the impacts Mm -hmm. that you bring to the table. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of spending power. Right. Right. There's a lot of talent. There's a lot of camaraderie. Right. But sometimes there are some of us that are out there that's in the midst of it. We don't get it. And we take that and we make it negative. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And so mm-hmm. in my time, and I'm so grateful, knock on wood, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy that always gives praise and honor to God. I, I do. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm one of those ones. I was an indigent born child. Mm-hmm. At two days old, I was placed in foster care. Oh, wow. No. And so when I look at my life and I see where I am today, I'm afforded opportunities that wasn't, was never promised to me, but I understand my purpose. Right. You feel me? Right. And so, you know, for me today, I, I've in my lifetime, I've had an opportunity to meet a lot of hip hop artists. Mm-hmm. I become close friends with a number of them. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I don't think he'll mind me saying it, but uh, YG is a very good friend of mine. Okay. Um, he, he's a he's a really really good guy. Um, solid. Right. Um, when I had a chance to meet him, when I first met him, it was on what you all were talking about earlier. Mm. How do we get him to have a platform here in Las Vegas? Right. You know, how is it that we can get him on a stage here in Las Vegas? And you know, I was able to bring some parties together. Right. Sat at a table. They had an opportunity to meet him and talk to him and hear what he had to say. And boom, you know, this dude came to town. I says, you know why? I want you to come to town. I want you to do some things in the neighborhood. To come and talk to some kids. And right. he's like, you know, OG Weekly. OG, OG Weekly. That's what he called me, OG Weekly. I'm like, oh, damn, okay. Right. <laughs> Received. Right. right. <laughs> Received. Um, but it was like, um, you know, I, I love talking to kids. Um, you know, I, I love doing things. So I said, what do you want to do? He says, man, I want to do a, a um, 400 Ways conference, youth mm. conference. I said, what the hell is that? You want to bring 400 kids together? Yeah, man, let's get 400 kids. We got 400 students out of the Clark County School District. We got Cashman Field before they closed it down. Right. And he hosted an all-day youth conference. Wow. Workshops. While the kids were in workshops, mm-hmm. you know what he did? This dude boarded a, we got him on a van, mm-hmm. drove him all the way up to Spring Mountain Youth Camp. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm where there's a 100-bed facility at the top of Mount Charleston. Right. He spent the afternoon with 100 boys talking to them, up close and personal, about how to change the trajectory in their lives. Wow. Once he finished with them, he zoomed back down, man. He did an open mic. I'm setting the stage up. Anybody who got it, you can spit some bars, get on stage, let's get it, let's go. Wow. Wow. 
That's crazy. That same push you're That's doing so for love. YG, yeah. we need you to get that same push to local artists. Let me tell you something the about same local push artists. That YG. You yeah. all know my guy over there at the uh, gas station studio? Yeah, yeah, Tyler. Don't we yeah. love Tyler, Tyler. Gaston. Yeah, yeah, Gaston. He's yeah. amazing. Tyler yeah. Gaston just had a big well, yeah, we were there. community yeah. event. Yeah. You guys were at the Culture Fest. You yeah. know, I did Definitely. a I did a PSA for him. Yep. Right? Yep. Couldn't make it that night. It was about a thousand things going on that day. Yeah, it was. That day I got inducted into the Elders Club. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Quan, I went ahead and wore my title that day. Uh, by by 7 30 that evening, I was I had eaten my dinner. I was sitting in my recline. I said, I'm a, <laughs> hell, I'm an elder now. <laughs> there, you young folks. I done done my part. But the beautiful thing about what happened at Culture Fest is look at the number of young artists. Right. And those that want to be in the game yep. were there. Tay Bands, TNBA, Brody, what if y'all had just, yeah. just but what if y'all had just collectively said, brothers, sisters, we getting ready to do something real epic here. Everybody that got at least a dub on them, drop it in this cup. How much you think we would come out come up with that night? If everybody out there would have just dropped a dub in the cup. <laughs> Oh, so we'd have been holding. Yeah, we've definitely been holding <laughs> a, a nice yeah, little chunk of change. Now, what could we have done with that? What do y'all think? What's the first thing, Queen? I would say we could throw another event like that, but maybe bigger, on a bigger stage, on a bigger level. Mm -hmm. What else? Because I love her idea. Because um, let me tell you, with, with that, she's absolutely right. right. And then what you do is you bring those powers to be. Mm -hmm. You got a new sheriff. Right. That won it. Outright in the primary, Kevin McMahill. Yeah, McMahill. Yep. McMahill, one of the nicest cats on the planet. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. Metro, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, they are beholden mm -hmm. to the, our economic engine, which is the gaming industry. That's right. Let's keep it, let's keep it 100. Mm -hmm. They're not getting ready to let us come out there and tear their stuff up. Right. Now, you can tear all the, all the shit you want to tear up in your own neighborhood. Mm -hmm. She's not getting ready to come out here and tear up these billion-dollar resort uh, facilities, if you will. Right. Absolutely not. But what I don't understand is, now the five of us here, we can't host a hip-hop concert. Mm -hmm. But Post Malone getting ready to be at one of the resorts. Right. Uh, the, uh, Rick Ross was just at Dre's last weekend. Right. Right. We have all these artists that can come to town, but they can go inside of these venues. We can't do it. Right. Why? Because we're not coming to the table. Mm-hmm. And we're not having these real-time conversations. Mm -hmm. And see, during election time, this is when the hip-hop community have to come together. Mm -hmm. Y'all want my vote? All right. Sit down with us and talk to us and tell us how do you engage with us? Mm -hmm. How do we fit into this? Because in that cup right there, mm -hmm. it's about $10,000. That, 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 that'll buy several campaign signs. Right. And it's about 2,000 of us that's sitting here. That's a whole lot of votes. Absolutely. Because come Tuesday, it's going to be some upsets. Absolutely. And it's about a, it's a, several of those people could use those 2,000 votes. Absolutely. Just think about your power. Absolutely. It's power in that ballot. It's power in that cup. Mm -hmm. We just got to come together collectively and be smart about how we move. Right. And stop letting everybody else control the narrative. Hmm. That makes sense, Queen? Absolutely. Okay. Makes the most sense in the world. Y'all do understand what he said. Yeah. The, the power of coming together collectively and using our economic resources to push the needle in our favor. Okay. So <laughs> since we missed the mark with the, the sheriff's race, right. McMahill's about to come into office. He's going to be sworn in. Right. Okay. Uh, Joe Lombardo, who's running for governor. Right. Right. Joe's going to be moving out of Metro. Right. McMahill's moving in. What are we going to do, hip hop community? What right. are we going to do? Are we going to call the, the officers? that's in charge of entertainment because mm -hmm. there is a division. Right. Do mm -hmm. we call a meeting to say there is a group of us that want to sit down and have a conversation this to talk game. about how do we, huh? This is game right here. How, how do we move? Because right. we're taxpayers. Right. Absolutely. We are right. We're, we're law abiding community. citizens. Yep. We own houses. Homeowners. We own houses. We're Pay homeowners. property taxes. Right. Who, who, who's going to take the lead? Or are we sitting around waiting on somebody else to do it? Mm. Why are we putting all this faith and all this stock in elected officials when you all are empowered mm. to do it yourself? Mm. Yeah, yeah. You, you got DJ Slim that. standing back there. That, that's <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> DJs on the planet. Right? <laughs> He's incredible. I walked in on one of his jobs one day and I said, what are you doing? <laughs> 
this boy here is one of the baddest DJs I have ever met in my life. Absolutely. He's incredible. How do we empower him? Right. Right. You How know? Do, yeah. He needs to be on the side of that building out there at the MGM. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, okay. I don't understand why he don't get the Because I went to the nightclub one night at the MGM. I just wanted to see what... Who pays him two hundred and fifty thousand a year out there? And I don't understand one song he plays. <laughs> exactly, and, 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 and you can only and dance to like three brown, of them. I only, I don't even drink brown liquor, but I just felt like I need to go to all the hallway. I drink all right the out shit. the bottle. Right out the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Let me right. shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we are in full agreement with everything okay. that you said. And, you, you know, like I, I mentioned before, is it's time for us as, you know, a community of hip hop lovers to take our stake in the political process. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I don't get it. We need to own our part of it. Okay. So. I'm like, you pretty much answered the question I was going to just <laughs> okay. ask you about. The, <laughs> it's crazy. I'm, I'm I was like, too much, I looked yeah. at this question and I was like, ah, oh, I can't ask you that one. Right. But, you know, uh, what's our next steps from here on out? Like, how do we get to 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 getting in contact with these people? These, Who's uh, going to uh, take the lead? Who's right. going to step up? Right. Who's going to call us together? And have this conversation. Mm. Are we going to work together? Are we going to be jealous of one another? Mm. Nigga, you don't tell me what to do, man. You don't. Oh, can you say the N word on this show? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Like, you, you, you don't tell me what to do. Mm. You, you're not my leader. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Who, who, who's going to? Because I'm going to tell you something. We, we have this thing about us. Mm. We cool, but when it comes to some money. First thing we want to know, who, who's in charge of the money? Right, who's in charge of the money? Who, and can I trust him? Mm. Right. And just be honest with you. Just be honest with yourself. Majority of us, we get more comfortable when a white man overseeing our money. Yeah, because we, we, we've been talked to. We've been talked to. Speak, to, to, speak to, to the feel. truth about yeah. it, because y'all not gonna trust me to oversee your money. We're right. not gonna trust her. Well, right. we, we might trust a female, but black men are not gonna trust each other. Yeah. And we have to trust one another. We have to say. You know what, man? Listen, mm -hmm. you got it. But you have to understand transparency. Right. All right, y'all. Today, we all put in a dub. Here's the total. This is what we all came up with. Here's the ledger. Here's all of our names. It goes right here. shows right here how much we all put in here. Right. All right. Boom. Every week, we give a report. If, they, if we have to have that type of accountability right. to gain that trust with one another, let's do it. But my question to the hip-hop community is, who's going to take the lead? Tyler and the gas station brought the community together. Absolutely. I love it. Absolutely. And, and guess who we had involved? Mm -hmm. North Las Vegas police. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. Smart. Yeah. And we we proactive. We currently working with, with with gas over there. So, you know, yeah. we 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 definitely involved in, in some of the things yeah. he's doing. And we trying to push the needle Come forward on, on bringing the like community together. We don't like everything that's happening yeah. with law enforcement. We don't yeah. like the, the 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 bully pit mentality that goes on with some officers, but don't right. use that paintbrush and think all officers are bad. Right, right. They're not. Right. I, right. I got a lot of friends that's in law enforcement, are amazing men and women that do a fantastic right. job and give back. There was a group of Metro officers that did an event over at the Doolittle Community Center. Mm -hmm. Do you know they were all dressed in plain clothes and went out and, and uh, played basketball and did all the youth activities with the kids? Right. Lunchtime came. It was time for all the kids to gather to go in and eat lunch. Mm -hmm. They all went and put their uniforms on and came in while the kids were eating, the kids were blown away. Had wow. no idea they were all police officers. But you know what it is? It's still one That's bad really apple cool. can spoil the bunch. Really cool. One one apple can. Yeah, I mean, but we we have to work together collectively and remove that bad apple. Right. That's well, right. See, my kids were terrified of uh, Metro. Metro should do that on their own to remove that bad apple. Well, they but, should as, themselves but as a just... community, you're absolutely right. But as a community, we have to also, as taxpayers and as voters, we right. also have to speak on it. Yeah. Right. Hold right. them accountable. And hold them accountable. Right. The more, sure. the, the, uh, like I tell them, the squeaky wheel is the one that gets the oil. Yeah. You got to keep, you got to keep talking. Mm -hmm. You got to talk to them. You got to talk yeah. to the, to the elected officials. You got to get, get in their ear. Cause mm -hmm. if you don't, if they don't see you, they going to just walk right past you and like, eh, yeah. you, you mean nothing. So th that's what the hip hop community right now needs to be visible, vocal yes. and visible. We need to be outright vocal and visible. We yeah. need to be out here talking to these people. This, this is the time when they need you the most. Yeah. They need you to run to the pole. <laughs> this right. is how he needs you the most. So if they need you the most right now, guess what? If they need you right now, 
you get something in return. But look what you, you all know? did today. Exactly. Y'all held a congressman accountable. Absolutely. And you put him on the record. Quan got it. Absolutely. He's on the record. Absolutely. And you all have to hold him responsible. Absolutely. And if he said, I'm with it, invite me back. I want to be involved with the peace, love, unity, and having fun. Mm -hmm. Is that is. what y'all said? Absolutely. Most definitely. And, and but that, we're going to do that's it. That's what we're we doing. He needs to have mystical in his ear. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. Your man right here. Your man right here. Right. 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 I'm just saying. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm like, man, man. What a wonderful interview, man! I, I love, you. I love you coming up here, man. Yeah, you've been doing so much in the community, man. Like I said, when we talked on the phone earlier, I'm like, indirectly, you've been a part of my life since I was 14 years yeah. old. Right. You know what I mean? Definitely I'm like, mine too. If you don't remember, you used to stay on uh, Martin Luther King in the apartments across from across from Walker Furniture, and all. right? Right. Greg yeah. Allen and James yeah. Laval and them brought me over there. Yeah. My son was one. We used to kick yeah. like that. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to the Capital yeah. League boys. Yeah. The Capital League boys back in the league. day. Yo, yo. Yeah, man. It seemed like what? Well, it's like the eighth grade for me, man. Like yeah. you know, with, with mm -hmm. Perkins and 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 you know, what I'm saying, oh, yeah, man. Just we love you. We love you, Larry. Thank you, we love man. you, Mr. Weekly, Salute, you, brother. I appreciate y'all so much, and I hope that you all don't use this uh, this platform here because you guys have one of the hottest podcasts in the city. Thank you. Thank Salute. You. Every Saturday I host Straight Talk. Right. And I've been doing Straight Talk on Power 88 uh, probably before y'all were born for 30, <laughs> for 32 years. Right, right. You believe right. I've been hosting a talk show for 32 years. Wow. And I don't take for granted mm -hmm. at any given time I have thousands of people listening to me. It's so amazing when people walk up to me, whether I'm in Walmart, whether I'm pumping some gas, right. whether I'm speaking at an event or somewhere at a senior center. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I love just show. I had a lady today. Um, you know, my, y'all see my eyes are red. Look like I done smoked about three blunts. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> I've been rolling since about five this morning. My daughter had a, a bad, really bad car accident, oh. and um, oh, no. yeah, so we, she had surgery on her leg this morning, and mm. so it's been a rough day. But um, I, I made my commitment to OT. I'm gonna be there for y'all. And hell, I was coming across the freeway because I had an event at the ballpark. Oh, okay, and I, I guess I really I'm. <laughs> you know what? Let me tell y'all something. Give me, pull me some brown liquor because I might have to take hey, no, no, this. Man no, 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 no. Get this man a go. Go get this man a go. Some of that brown liquor. I didn't realize how spoiled. So reach I did not realize how spoiled I was because in office I always had someone drive me. My staff right. would always drive me everywhere. Right. Now that I'm not in office, I'm a normal person. I'm like, is this how you normal people live? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I don't even know how to get off the freeway. It's really? One, I got on the like wrong exit. Here. Then I ended up on a whole nother exit, and then I was all the way down by on the strip. Yeah, and I was like, how the hell do I get to Maryland Parkway? Yeah, just don't wow. do 15. Don't do 15 South. Just oh, stay man. away from I, it. I was, I was toast. But, you know, it's like real talk, y'all. I don't take my platform for granted. Right. And I know that on any given moment, we have the power to inspire. And that's what you guys can do. Just like y'all sitting here telling me how I inspired your lives. Thank you. You all have the ability to inspire so many people that are listening and watching. Right. You got some little boy or some little girl sitting back spitting their bars and, and mm. somebody saying, go, go sit your little ass down. So everybody <laughs> listening to that. Don't nobody want to hear that mess. Right. But you got the next star on your hand that have a gift. Right. I met a brother the other day. I'll say this and I'll shut up. Mm. I met a brother, a firefighter said, this cat is homeless. He lives under the interstate mm -hmm. off of H and Bonanza. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? So this firefighter met him about a month ago and so I said, hey, you should go see Commissioner Weekly. Mm -hmm. And he goes over to the Clark County Government Center, not realizing I ain't been in there in two years. I ain't right, been a commissioner right. in two years. Right. But they directed him to my office over at the college. Mm -hmm. And he comes over. He says, Mr. Weekly, um, you know, I'm such and such and such. I'm homeless. I was directed to talk to you by a firefighter such and such. I was like, oh, yeah, that's my girl. She's amazing. I love her. Mm -hmm. If she sent you, you must be cool. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I was just kind of checking him out a little bit. You know, he's homeless. How did the hell? I didn't know what right. he had on him. Right. You know, pulling up on me like that. But right. I was like, right. <laughs> <laughs> cover me, please. <laughs> Gotta keep it up. Gotta keep it But you, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. The brother fell on his hard. He fell on bad luck. Right. Right. And if I tell you, one of the baddest artists, he's air. He airbrushes mm -hmm. and he paints. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. And y'all know um, what's his name? He was at the uh, um, 
He was at um, at the Culture, Culture Fest. Fest. Yeah, um, what's his name that does the painting? Um, Mi- oh. Mi- Mikhail. 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 Yeah, Mikhail? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly. You're I called Mikhail up. Mikhail said, "Oh, Weekly, mm-hmm. I got, I have all kinds of canvas and paint brushes and everything for him." Oh wow! Oh man, we collected all kinds of stuff for him and didn't realize. Damn, he homeless. We don't put all this stuff. Right, right. We had nowhere to put it. <laughs> right. But we ended up getting this guy mm-hmm. a place to live. Nice. Wow. He has a job. Wow. Man, and he's out from under that interstate. Wow. <laughs> don't tell man. me what y'all can't do. Hey, let's just give it up. Yo, wow. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, like, yeah, this is yeah, crazy. Yeah. What, just think about what you all can do. <laughs> right. Pulling resources together. Right. Picking up that phone, calling for, hey, Quan, can you do this for me? Oh, can you do this, Queen? I was right. on y'all's show. Right. I got a person that, oh, weekly, whatever you need, come on, come through. I right. got it. Word. Right. If we just trust each other and connect with each other and bond with each other and right. help each other, we can change a whole lot of lives. Look, y'all see right. that? He just talked so hip hop right together. there. That's, That's peace, love, right. unity, having fun. Unity, having fun. That's, That's what I'm everybody. talking about, man. He just talked yeah, that right yeah. there. You Thank know what y'all mean? for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, appreciate hey, your we, time. Thank please you, tell the people where they can reach you at and, you know, if they want to contact you and get, you know, get all the wisdom we done got over the years yeah, from man. you. Know? Yeah. No, please they, tell they, the people. Like you, they can run run into me at Grits Cafe in the middle of the street. <laughs> right. If y'all go to Grits, you know, any given day, you might, might see this man there. You might be out there looking for a sponsor. All I want, right. is, a, all I want is a turkey chop and a piece of toast. <laughs> turkey yeah. chop. That's our shameless plug, yeah. Grits Cafe. Yeah. Right. Hey, hey, look, look, Grits Cafe. I, went in there, I told him, I said, look, I ain't got no money today. Brother Money is funny right now. Yeah. She said, Miss Weekly, what do you want? I said, I just want one turkey chop and a piece of bread. I'm good. <laughs> there it is. And a cup of water. Yeah, exactly. And a cup of water. What did I have in that bag? That's pretty much what you had in the bag. <laughs> See? He can't right. do it. Put he something on his truth. stomach. I he seen tells it. the truth. I was sitting there. I was sitting with one of my frat brothers and, and his wife, and I seen Weekly up there, and there Man, was. y'all got Blue blue Weekend, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Blue and White Weekend. Blue and White Weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah shout out it's to next weekend. Yeah. Shout out to the Blue and White family. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's blue up? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> y'all know what it is. But yeah, you know, like I said, Mr. Weekly, thank yeah. you for coming up. Thank here. you for blessing, blessing the platform. Us. You know what I mean? Hey, let's give it up for Lawrence Weekly. Yeah, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yeah. My man, my man. All right. And I know, I know we 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 done went a little bit over our time, but we got one more guest that's gonna come okay. up here and he's gonna bless us with some bars real fast. Cause we do the bar test every week. Hey yo, King Q. Oh. Not, yes. not unless Mr. Weekly wanna do the bar test, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that ain't gonna work for me. He said it ain't gonna work, man. Said I can do a lot of things, but no, you know what I'm saying? Let me hear what you got. Yeah, yeah, you got gold teeth and oh, yeah. stuff. You think yeah. I can compete? Stick around, yeah, stick around. We gonna, we about to, we about to go up. I need a I'm just coming first. to talk. That's all right. No, you don't. <laughs> King Q, thank you yes, so much. Yes, yes, yes. Stand with the queen. Hey. Yes, indeed. King yes. Q, thank you, thank Good you for company. coming up here, man. Thank, thank you for, you for having me, man. Hey. I am welcome, honored. welcome, welcome to the Fifth Element. Yeah, man, I'm gonna pull the mic up to you a little bit so we can get these bars in real quick and clear. And tell them where they can find you at. I'm just honored. Um, you can find me everywhere. King Q, H I O E N T. Go follow my Instagram because that's going to lead y'all to a whole new path. Is that true? Right. No, for real. K I N G Q U E H I O E N T. H I O E N T. Yeah, I got to change up my. Uh, I got a lot of stuff on Spotify and all platforms, but I got to change it up because somehow. It's another guy, a, uh, a producer. He got my name. Oh, okay. oh wow! Yeah. It's looking us both up. That's so we gonna figure it out. Just y'all go follow my Instagram. Right, well, right now, you are gonna let them know who you is. Right? Yes, now. yes, yes, exactly. yes, yes, yes. Exactly. And why he's man. here? Hand it over, man. Well, let's so go. Toys, you without, know what it is. Without further ado, y'all yes, know what it is, man. We done brought up King up. Q for the bar test. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, yo, Slim, what you got back there? Oh, oh wow. whoa, whoa! He here we go. go. Yeah. Yo, Fifella Man, he about to eat King Q. My new nickname, Fatal. Do it big and they hate I'm able. Murder for hire, I pay niggas under the table. The bomb drop, my chain ain't tucked. This in the pawn shop. Run and shoot like Air McNair with the nine Glock. <laughs> King Q is focused. I'm out here with the snakes, rats, and roaches. I'm carrying toasters. I got guns too heavy for holsters. Put snipers on the roof, cause my crew can't carry the blowers. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> tote the 11 like y'all yeah, I mean. Level three best, that shit block shots like Hot King. Who shot ya? <laughs> Separate the lames from the mobsters. Aerial attack. 
attack airplanes and helicopters LV City, they bust their guns My right hand so hot, I could touch the sun Look, Fifth <laughs> Element, y'all bust y'all guns My right hand so hot, it can touch the sun I like Reggie Miller from Long Range Splash niggas from deep Real recognized, real bitch ass niggas in sleep Wake that ass up when I flash the heat And I go deeper than paint a picture Spit a masterpiece Horror film when they do decide to cast a piece Fuck collateral, my niggas talk cash at least Make hamburger patties, how I smash the beef Niggas pass me the gap like they passing tree I'm on a black white t-shirt, acid jeans Chinese rifle, handgun, Japanese Gradually I started with a half a G Now your boy count money, uh, Master P It's a motherfucking rap, if you rap with me Free of charge, my gunman, clap for free Getting money while them niggas hustle back with Lee Oh yeah, it's all about the cash for me, huh? Yeah! yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I told y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I want to thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Hey, thank nah, you, for you man. Hey, thank yeah. you for coming to the bar test, man. Yeah, man. Fifth Element in the Fifth building. Element has certified yeah. you, you know on the bar and, test. And, and why? And why? Bar test. Word. And why okay. do we say he's certified, Kai? The reason why we say certified is in honor of the late DJ Certified, who was Word. a Vegas icon, one of the best Absolutely. DJs in Vegas. Yeah. Word. He passed away, so whenever you come up and you do your thing, like you just I know did, certified. I knew certified. Yeah. So it's salute to certified. Yeah. You are so certified on the Fifth Element Hip Hop oh, Bar Test. You, man. Congratulations, man. So, you know, King Q, hey, long go. live certified, man. Hey. I appreciate y'all, man. But remember, King Q, H I O E N T, man. King on Instagram, Q, H I O E N T. Go run it up. Yeah, go run it over. It it up. Please do. Hand it over entertainment, <laughs> Evil Toys, Las Vegas Car Club. It's Daddy. everything. If y'all yeah. know, the whole squad. If, if you thank know, you, you know. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Right. All right. All right. We about to get up out of here. Big shout out to Miko, Two Tone, and Mad Records Recording Studio. Pull up on them if you need your project mix and mastered. They're doing it all over there. They even got rehearsal space for you. Located 15 minutes from the strip at 1020 East Charleston Boulevard. Reach out to Tone Does Music on IG or Mad Records underscore LV on IG. They'll take care of you over there. And once, once in well, shit. Want to <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Q, Q. <laughs> man? If you need, if you need a, cut. a cut, you try to get fly for the weekend. Go see Q at the barbecue shop. They say they taking all fades over there. Located at twenty seven seven North Jones behind Burger, Burger King. King. Bang. Damn Y'all know is. what it Let's is, man. Ahead. Shout out to shout out to Divine Graphics I N K L L C. Shout out to Lord Malik. Shout out to uh, Respect Force Universal Force. and One Love King Justice. I love you. Get better. King, I know you in the thing thing right now, but you're gonna Peace. be out soon. We love you, King Justice. King Justice, you know, get well. You know what I mean? Bug, take us out, baby. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth fella, me, we out. Bye, y'all. We love you. Vegas hip hop. Getting it out the settlement. Hold the line to get connected to a hip hop. It only takes a second to see your benefit like a settlement. I'm talking about fifth element. Supreme Kai, the perfectionist. Crash when your bag is done. Buffet, I'm about to serve. Fresh out of canapes, I'm on the hors d'oeuvres with a hunger indescribable to put in less words. The host with the most. OT from the D. Creator of the Zulu Beauty Okay. DJ Seven, young got discretion. Cool, so hard in the paint like resin. Ray Sun checking with the scoop for your teacup. How do we know that? I swear he knows some higher ups.